Hello. In this class, we are going to learn about CRAN. Now, this CRAN stands for Cloud RAN, which means that Cloud Radio Access Network. So, what is the requirement of Cloud Radio Access Network and what is the concept of Cloud RAN? We are going to discuss today in this class. Now, as we have a topic, which topic is cloud computing. Now, this cloud computing is a hot topic. That means this is a hot topic for all IT industrial magnates. So, for IT, that means for information technology, we have this hot topic and the topic is cloud computing. Now, why we require cloud computing? Cloud computing is there for boosting of data services and applications. So, for boosting data services and applications, we have a common common concept and that concept as a cloud computing. Now we require that means wireless networks need not only voice data and video it is like we have a wireless technology but wireless need not to support only voice data email or even video etc. That means for wireless generations of wireless technologies we are not limited to only these services as we are moving towards future generations and the future technologies so we require to support that means these wireless technologies will require to support all the future extensions so this require to support future extensions so as like we are moving with the high data rate services, we are moving with the cloud computing systems. So what we require that these wireless system shall support all the future extension that will be there. Now because of the HSTPA and LT, like because of HSPA and LT, which is high speed packet access and long term evolution, we have increasing demand of data services and users. That means users and demand is constantly increasing. Like if this is the graph with the users and the demand, so we have a continuous increasing demand graph or we can say we have continuous increasing user graph because we have a technologies of high speed packet access and long term evolution. Now what we require that means in order to meet these demands future development strategies that means we require some strategies to cover up all the users and to meet their demand and also we require to have concern of TCO and now this what is this TCO TCO stands for total cost of ownership now we cannot increase the more capacity of the system because we have this parameter also which is total cost of ownership that's why we require to balance each and every unit that means we what we want we want to meet the demands of the end number of the users with the concern of total cost of ownership that means we we are not able to increase the cost up to some limit we have a, some specific limit of the cost and we require to meet these demands within our limit so this is the concept of cloud RAN that means why we require cloud radio access network so that we, we can meet the demands and the total number of users with the concern of total cost of ownership. So now we will compare our 
traditional rand that means what is there in our traditional rand system so like we have traditional radio axis network now this tra uh, traditional radio axis network has some characteristics like what are the characteristics of the traditional ran traditional ran is a part is a radio axis network that we had used in the 2g 3g and 4g cellular system now in this system each bts can connects to a fixed number of antenna so we have each base station as bs and this base station can connect to fixed number of antennas so this could be the capacity of the base station that it can connect to a fixed number of antennas Now, what about antennas? That antenna can cover a small area. Antenna can cover small area. So, as it is a lobe, and according to the lobe, it has to cover small area. And as it is covering a small area, that means it can handle transmission. and reception within area so for example this is my base station it can handle number of antennas like according to the capacity it has fixed number of antenna now if this is an antenna and it is covering this much area so it is it will be able to handle transmission of reception within this particular area and also we have a concept Uh, in traditional rand system that capacity is limited by interference as we have a concept of interference in these systems so which is big uh, capacity is affected by such parameter so that means capacity is limited by interference so the, these are the characteristics of our previously that means traditional ran system that we have used we have a fixed number of base station fixed number of base station can connect to a fixed number of antennas antenna can cover up a small area that means smaller capacity and also that capacity is also limited by interference so these are characteristics of a traditional ran which is a radio access network now we have some challenges in the system so challenges as it means what we want as a challenges in this system now what are the challenges that we require larger number of base station that means that is the first challenge that requirement of large base stations so i can write here that large base stations required so requirement of large base station that requires initial investment that require initial investment site support system site support management site management investment to set up then to support to manage and rental etc this being the challenge that if you require larger number of base station that means your initial investment is more we have a site support more management as well as rental etc parameters we have more that means there is a increase in capex and opex 
where capex has a capital expenditure and opex has a operating expenditure that means we require money for site investments to setting up a site and opex that means for operation and maintenance we require some other expenditure so this one is a first challenge now second one as b base station utilization rate is low here in this part like base station utilization rate is low so as we have very less number of users under its vicinity of a base station so utilization of the base station is very low and also like base station processing units now this is about base station processing unit that is bbo as a basement processing unit power cannot be shared among other which means that we cannot we are not able to share the power among other unit other units and also next one is that that for faster data rate service we required to upgrade the network so if we require faster data services like for faster data services upgrade network so these are some of the challenges in our system that means in tradition radio access network as we require large number of base station that means we have increase of cost then we have utilization rate as low then power cannot be shared and also whenever we require fast data services whenever we require to change the network that means there is a network upgrade required now what we require or what we want in future radio access network so now we have or what we want we want our future radio access network now what are the characteristics of future radio access network now it should provide mobile broadband internet access should provide mobile broadband mobile broadband internet access to wireless users that means we require a fixed data rate for a wireless users that's why as a mobile broadband internet access to the wireless users and also we require low bit cost that means the cost of the internet the cost of the bits that we are paying should be less and there should be high spectral efficiency we require in our system to be efficient so we require high spectral efficiency then we require as a, next one as a energy efficiency we require low cost we require energy efficiency and it will be able to support multiple standards that means it is we don't require that it is limited to only one standard it should support multiple standard and we require as a platform for additional revenue generating services platform for additional revenue generating services 
so this is this is the concept that we require in our future ran or future radio access network as this should provide internet access to the wireless users then we require low bit cost that means we are going to reduce the total cost of the bits we require efficiency of the spectral as well as the energy and it will be able to support multiple standards with we also require some platform for additional services those who are help to generate revenue so as we have discussed about the traditional ran system then we have discussed about the challenges now all of the challenges of the traditional ran we require to meet in our future radio access network so in order to meet these demands like this is these are the demands of future radio access network so we have a concept of cloud radio access network to meet all of these demands now because of the cloud radio access network now this cloud radio access network architecture architecture is a promising factor for expanding wireless network so this architecture is required if we want to expand wireless network which means that this is the solution that okay if we require wireless radio we require to expand wireless network because we have increasing demand and we have more number of users so this will provide a solution for this and we have a cloud ran architecture now what happens in cloud ran it means what is the difference in cloud ran architecture so if c ran Like we have a unit as BBU, and this unit as baseband processing unit. So, in cloud radio access network, base baseband processing unit as a BBU unit is moved from. bs that means as here we have a base station so in base station we have a unit which is there for processing and that unit is known as bbu as baseband processing unit so it is moved from base station to control unit to control unit as it is cu so we have move the base bbu unit from base station to the control unit and this base station will operate as operate as the only one ru that means radio unit so we have a unit as a common unit which is a control unit so we have shifted all the bbus to the control unit and this base station will operate as the only one radio unit so this is the concept of the cloud ran that means in cloud radio access network we are going to change that means we are going to move this one unit to the control unit and then this base station will operate as the only radio unit so this is what the operation of that means what is the demand of the cloud ran that they are going to change or they are going to shift bbu from base station and move it to this cu unit so this is about the general introduction of cran we will continue with the cran topic in our next class thank you so much